you ever, ever thought about buying a cargo box for your vehicle but you weren't quite sure if it was going to affect your gas mileage well we're going to put that question to rest today Hello world, this is Random Fix. I've put on 13,000 miles on this vehicle and you wondered if it was gonna affect your gas mileage. Well, in this video today, we're gonna go ahead and answer that question. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the box off today and I'm gonna go at least 1,000 miles with the same exact driving pattern and habits that I've used throughout the life of the car. And I have a full review of this Tole box here. This is 16 cubic footer. I picked it up at REI Sporting Goods in Anchorage, Alaska. So I'll definitely have a link to that video box in the description box below. And I'm going to show you guys the current gas mileage so you guys kind of get a baseline test. And then we're going to take this vehicle for a, at least a 1,000 mile drive. So before we start doing the additional 1,000 miles, our fuel economy on this vehicle is going to be at 28.6 miles per gallon. And the miles on the vehicle are 12,343 miles. And I got it brand new so I have no idea what the gas mileage should be like with my driving style. So let's go ahead and get this box removed. Now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to go ahead and get this removed or installed. And you may need a helper or we might be able to do it by ourselves. And we wanna just go ahead and open up the door and come right up here. Go ahead and turn this counterclockwise and as I'm turning it counterclockwise, you guys can see that the, the jaws are opening up right there. And it was that easy. So now I just got to go ahead and do the back one. And then I'm going to close up this side and go to the opposite corners here. Open that up and that one. And we're going to go ahead and get this removed. All right, this is ready to be taken off. And the most important part is you wanna make sure that you're clearing the cross members of your roof rack. So in my case, this is ready to be taken off. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take this for a drive now for the very first time. economy has been reset. So when I first made this video, it was March 19th, 2020. And with Corona here, I've actually only driven about six, 700 miles. And this car is very, very boring without the roof box. So I'm actually gonna slap that back on the car. But my driving habits actually haven't changed bad. And there's less traffic on the road. I have not used the AC. And honestly, my fuel consumption is pretty close to where it was. So uh, I don't think the box on this particular car actually makes a huge difference. And I'm going to be slapping that back on the car now. So you guys are probably confused just like myself because my gas mileage actually went down without the box. Normally it's supposed to be the other way around. Your gas mileage is supposed to be lowest when the box is installed. In my case, you saw that I went from 28.6 with the box on and 27.9 with the box off. And 
This was during COVID-19 times, and there wasn't much traffic. I was not running the AC, so let's hop online, do some research. Okay, so we're here, and I looked up some articles that actually talked about this exact thing, but the opposite of what just happened to me. Yes, your roof box and ski racks really do cut your MPGs more than you think. So I read through this. And this gave me some really high numbers here where it's supposed to go ahead and cut your fuel efficiency down to sometimes about 13%. So on this particular Honda Accord that they used in this demo here, the gas mileage dropped from 40 miles per gallon down to 32. That's a difference of 8 miles per gallon. You guys saw we didn't see that in my case here. And let's go look at another article. In this particular article, they're testing a car and SUV, and they're saying that the gas mileage on this particular vehicle dropped nearly 11% with the roof rack on. And with the SUV here, I guess uh, they had a 13% drop with the roof rack on. And then we're going to go ahead and just hop on over to the fuel economy on my vehicle. So this is a 2019 Toyota Corolla, and the gas mileage is supposed to be 28 in the city and 37 on the freeway. I've never got 31 miles per gallon on this vehicle ever, so that just lets you know about some of these EPA ratings that they have here. But if you look at the luggage room on this vehicle, before I installed the box, I only had about 18 cubic feet of space in the hatchback here. The box alone is 16 cubic feet of cargo room. So one thing that I've noticed with vehicles over the years since I've been uh, working around them and I worked in the car business for about 18 years, the only thing you were really paying for was size because a lot of these four-cylinder motors and V6 motors, they have so much power that you can pretty much almost put them in a light truck and get away with them. But they always want to try to upsell you, get you to spend $30,000, $50,000, $60,000 for a vehicle just because of the size. So in my case, I'm really looking for the best bang for my buck, and I think a cargo box is it. And I found another interesting article that really talked about, yeah, it can affect your gas mileage, but it's really based on how efficient and aerodynamic the box is. This is the box that I actually have on my car here. And they have them in rank right here. Um, so this is the box that I have. So it's rank number three. But I've been playing around with these boxes for a little while because my brother has a bunch of them on his particular vehicles. And what I found is the gas mileage really, in my opinion, has never been something that has been measurable to me. Uh, not like these reports are saying where they're going to go ahead and affect you by 10, 20, 30 percent. That's never been the case. So if you guys ever thought about installing one of these boxes, go ahead. I guarantee you guys, you guys will be so pleased with the results. And the best thing is you can go ahead and put it on another vehicle. So I'm going to show you guys what I did with my 2016 Toyota Prius as well. Extra room that I had so much from the cargo carrier here that I actually decided to do the same thing here for my 2016 Toyota Prius and these came i got a pretty decent deal on them and i just attached the box to it so the best part is it's pretty much interchangeable with vehicles and you can slap it on in just a few minutes so it makes something that's normally pretty confined and has limited amount of space like this toyota prius into a much bigger vehicle and we leave our stuff up there all the time guys and honestly on this car over here i've seen less than a half a mile difference on my mpgs so this is definitely making my smaller vehicles have a lot more functionality and a lot better for taking those vacations and one other thing that i did on both of the vehicles just because i was looking for extra space is i installed a tow hitch like this so now i can go ahead and attach a carrier basket and i did the same exact thing for the toyota prius here and the carrier basket allows me to carry cargo back here. So now I can carry a, a lot more stuff when I go camping and it's a lot funner and I still get the convenience 
of a small vehicle with the added value from getting great gas mileage and works super well so between the cargo carrier and the box and the cargo space inside the car this thing can be packed and it's a lot of fun to go out and camping with a vehicle like this now all right guys there you guys go we got the top back on the car and it's looking somewhat adventurous again so i really appreciate you guys watching the video and again if you have a smaller compact car these cargo racks for the top of the vehicle will definitely make a huge difference so if you haven't tried it out on your car try it out i think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised by what it actually gives you and the gas mileage is really not that big of a deal and i appreciate you guys watching if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit subscribe and smash out that notification button as well thanks again guys and i'll have a link to anything i use in the video down below